Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Holy High School. My name is Jordan Drake. Today is Wednesday, September 18th, and it's Blue Day. We got some announcements for you today, so stay tuned because you're watching the Lion Pride News. Good morning, Fall High School. My name is George Austin. Here are today's birthdays. Have a birthday to Ian Lowry, Nevea Madrid Hooper, and Damian Percott. Have a great day and a happy birthday. I'm Lexi Coleman, and the thought of the day today is by Henry Ford. Chop your own wood and it will warm you twice. Holy High School, I'm here with Judy Manzano. I'm going to recognize her on behalf of the Congress of Future Medical Leaders. It's an award of excellence. It says the Medical Advisory Board of the National Academy of Future Physicians and Medical Scientists confers honor and distinction upon Ms. Judith Manzano for outstanding academic performance, leadership potential, and dedication to serving humanity through the profession of medicine. So congratulations, Judy. Thank you. Well done. Would you like to tell Foley High School a little bit about this program? Um, well, I found this program out by um, from my friend, um, Maria Owen, and then um, she convinced me in signing up for it. And then it's a great experience. You meet new people from uh, everywhere. And then you get to see a live surgery and then talk to different professors um, positions. So great, you got to go to Boston, right? So yes, that's sir. an experience in itself. So if you have any more questions about this program, ask Judy. She's a nice person and she'll be glad to tell you a little bit more. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Judy, and go Lions. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Miss Simmons and I'm in charge of our Relay for Life cancer fundraiser for Foley High School. And this Friday at 2.30 we will have a ticketed event, police versus firemen in basketball in our gym. Tickets are $2, and we will be selling them during lunch on Thursday and Friday. All proceeds will go to our Relay for Life donation for cancer research and uh, hopefully to cure the disease altogether. So be sure that you purchase your ticket Thursday or Friday during lunch for $2, and you will be released from your class on Friday, fourth period at 2.30. Thanks, and everybody come. Homecoming shirts will be on sale through Friday. The price is 14 and you can order them in Ms. Payne's room 402 and in Ms. K's room 807. No extra shirts will be ordered. Hey seniors, if you are not eligible for senior lunch, listen up. Benchmarking on any of the ACT sections will get you there. For reading, you need at least a 22, math a 22, science a 23, and English at 18. Attention all Scholars Bowl students. Permission slips are due this Friday. Get them to Miss Hill or Miss Dunaway as soon as possible so that you can compete in the next meet on Friday, October the 4th. The National Technical Honor Society will have their inductions next Wednesday in the library. On Wednesday, October the 16th, the PSAT will be administered to the juniors who sign up in homeroom. Tomorrow is the deadline to sign up. Seniors, don't forget, makeup pictures will be Monday, September 23rd. I'm Michael Bingert, and this is the Locker Room Report.
This past Friday night, oral communication and theater teacher Miss Payne was inducted to the Foley High School Hall of Fame. We talked with Mrs. Payne recently to get her thoughts. Hi, I'm here with Coach Dee Dee Payne. She has excelled for the Lions in track and field in the early 1990s where she competed at the state meet in her throwing events. She soon returned to her alma mater as a teacher and a coach in the 1990s and she led several different athletes to state championships and other accolades over the past years. So, I have some questions for you. Okay. So, did you choose to follow in your dad's footsteps as being a throwers coach for the track? Well, sort of. My dad was a thrower when he was in high school and college and started coaching both my brother and me when we were in middle school. And so it was really the only thing that A, I was built for, and B, I was being trained for, and C, was pretty good at. And so he coached me in summer track. I did summer track from the time I was about 10 years old up and through college. Even competed a little bit with my athletes a few summers. And then went on and did it in middle school and high school and then college. And even when I was in college, I would come home on weekends and have him coach me. So how long have you taught at Foley? This is my 23rd year. Wow. Right. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> and what made you teach theater? Because you are the theater teacher. Yes, and it's weird. My mom always said that I was a renaissance woman, <laughs> meaning that I had all these different things that I was interested in. So equally, when I was in fifth grade, I did my very first play and sort of fell in love with theater. And when Miss Lindsley, who was the theater teacher here, retired my third year of teacher, it was just a natural step in for me. So I'm appreciative to have the opportunity to do track for all those years, but then also to get to teach theater. Was there anything else you'd like to add? No, thank you for the interview. Thank you. Bye. Tomorrow, the volleyball team will be in action as the Murphy Panthers come to Foley. Game times are at 4.30, 5.30, and 6.30. And finally, Friday, the football game is against Baker in Mobile. And that's all from the Locker Room Report. Today for lunch we have mozzarella cheese sticks, marinara sauce, Caesar salad, broccoli with cheese, frozen juice cup, and for a fast food alone we have hot pockets, french fries, fruit and juice, and don't forget your grab Have a great day for high school. All right, well, that's all the announcements we have for you today on our Day Online Pride News. Don't forget today's Blue Day. Our shout-outs go to Amari Pickens and Noah Yunts. Have a great day, Foley High School.